All right, I got my handy dandy supplies. I'm gonna take the majority of all of this, okay? And put it in a garden, because I can tell it's not feeling too good out here. Hello, I'm Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler, all around schooler. Oh yeah. So I've been mowing my lawn. I have been cutting branches like way over there. So you can see nicely, it looks orderly. Um, weed whacking, trying to figure out how to work the stringing, you know, I've been trying to do this for years. I'm almost there, but I just bought these things from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I think I wanna put one more here, just to define the space. And it doesn't have to go all the way across. And it's really hard to get it all the way in the ground because they're very delicate, because they're really cheap. So, and all of these flowers, either it was planted for me by friends, or I got this one. I think these here, the bigger ones from um, neighbors that were giving it away. Okay, so if you go on next door, uh, app you can put in your zip code and you can start communicating with all your neighbors yes whoever's on it you know so let me show you another um sitting area that i think i'm going to utilize like at least in the morning when there's no sun so i'm over here and i'm putting stuff together so in this shady area right here you know i'm listening to marian hymns if you've never heard of that put on marian hymns if you go on youtube Get your phone, go do some yard work, and you put in Marian hymns. You can find, if you don't like the ones you're listening to, keep searching, you'll find ones that you really speak to you. And I'm just, I'm looking over here and I'm like, I'm listening to the Marian hymns and I'm looking up to heaven and I'm like, wow. And I'm thinking, yes, Lord. Cause I'm always worried, like how am I going to provide for my family in the future? For those of you that don't know, my husband um, passed away three years ago and you know right now we're okay but one day we might not be right and then i'm saying wait a minute so i'm looking up at the heavens and i'm like lord you have me here today and we're okay today you know my husband thought he was coming out of the kitchen when he fell to the floor and met god so you know it's like i'll show you the view so it's so lovely it's between the two trees you see and like we define the space over here with the flowers, the trees define the space for me. It's like a framework right there looking at heaven because heaven is up. I've been learning a lot of things like how to fix a lawnmower, how to clean it up and you know, cause yeah, I could pay somebody and they wanted like $136. So I just bought carburetor cleaner and uh, I had my friend Julio, I went side by side with him. And you know what? I tell you this, if you're a woman, Maybe you're a man and you don't know this either, but if you're a woman and you leave everything up to your husband or your boyfriend or some other guy to do the stuff for you, I highly suggest never do that. Because you know what? I thought all this time, like I wasn't interested in all this stuff, but I will tell you that you don't wanna leave it up to somebody else. Even like my girlfriend, when she's a construction worker and she comes in, I don't want her doing all of it. I have to look, I have to watch. You know, because you never know when God is going to call this person you're relying on. And if you're a guy and you don't know your your wife or your girlfriend's, you know, job, I highly suggest that you learn it because you want to save money. Yeah, if you have all the money in the world, fine, you know, but a lot of people don't. So, so today is a day where I, I asked my mother not to come here today. I usually see her every day. I'm very blessed, but um, I needed a time to just hear Marian hymns or silence, hear the birdies, and just work on my garden outside and just recuperate my soul, you know? Because, what is that noise? Because lately I had suffered with, or recently I had suffered with suffocation. It was crazy, like totally crazy. And that's why I got an allergy test. And if you see my arm, I didn't clean it off yet, but, um. I wanted to know like why was I suffocating what was that all about so um, was it a food allergy so I um, I just I don't know look at all these beautiful colors I love it 
and it's all well I did pay for the rose bush but everything is so lovely I would like my garden area closer to the house but all of these I have it way down there in the corner all of these I'm gonna try to put it in my window in the house I'm going to have my friend uh, and neighbor Jimmy who lives over there put a shelf in my room because it has a beautiful facing the sun and I that's for the rabbit that we have so why was I telling you about the suffocation story <laughs> I forget now but anyway you know you don't know how long you have here on this planet and we're all trying to find peace and I'm so excited because not right now but um, later I'll share with you another time what I'm doing for the next school year for my kids um, this is a we have done public school online we have homeschooled the majority of their life uh, we have unschooled and now I'm gonna kind of go in the middle of unschooling and homeschooling. It's very exciting and I'll tell you why. All right, let's get going with this garden. Here we go, loop-de-loo. -loo. Here we go, loop de lie. Or we could say, whistle while you work. Oh, look at the flowers. They're coming along. Okay, I'm trying to do this with my elbow. Oh gosh, see what happens when I, talk to you guys I got my cafe it lights up my cafe lights up uh-huh so excited about that and I found this thing for free I got my cow manure 40 pounds of it how lovely and here is my space oh, okay I'm doing this with one hand everybody okay so see this here don't mind my white trash looking um, I don't even know if that's nice to say, but I do. So that's for the birds. I got to fill it with water. They always come over here. Eventually I'm waiting for God or somebody to bring me a bird bath. My friend from El Salvador says that we can eat this. So I can, I'm probably going to trim a lot of it though away. All my oregano is here, a little bit there, not much. And mainly here and this is my lovely cherry tree oh yeah but it only produced like three um so far this year but this smells like a pizza once once the flowers come out of it oh oh yeah i gotta put the fence up so see how i have this here i gotta put it on that side as well today and then we're gonna start getting all this ready we're gonna put the cow manure so richie says to dig oh look at this thing it's monstrous. I love it. It's a weed, but I keep it around because it entertains me. It's like an alien, like dropped it off here. And because it's very bizarre, you probably have it maybe in your neck of the woods, but it's so ugly that I, I'm very entertained by it. So I keep it around. Um, okay. So I'm going to drop all this stuff off. And then what I'm going to do is get all my other plants. So I make this a little sitting area. I got to trim these leaves and branches because my, my kids really want this tree to grow all the way to the ground because it can, but I don't really like that look. So see how low that is over there. I can do that for a lot of the space, like maybe on that side. And like I just showed you over here, over here, I don't really like it to be too long because I like to see, I like to see, you know, but they want it to be like a little hut. So this is my sitting area. I love it. I love it. And for those of you that don't know, let me show you. Oh, these are all what I got at the beach. But, so I sit here. This is my chair. But look, ready? Oh, that's my window to heaven. Oh, yes. When I'm outside, I talk to God right here. Oh, and a few other spaces. But look. See, if you were here with me and you were a decent human being, we could sit down and enjoy each other and talk and have some coffee. Because I love coffee it's like a commercial all right so right now you're only gonna see me what else and seth is home right now with me 
And Sarah, she just, this is my 13 year old girl I'm talking about. She just signed up for volleyball. She's never been one to, you know, to sign up for sports, but her two good friends, they're twins. They signed up and their father is the coach. So it's a great thing. And they're like hardcore, like hardcore. And I think Sarah has much, I think it's in her to be that way with them too, with uh, volleyball, I mean. Okay. All right, what am I doing over here, huh? I think I'll put these here next to them. See? Okay. So what else am I saying to you? So what I want to do is, um, so that's what she is. She's on the beach right now playing volleyball all day, which is great. But you know, it really stinks because like, I love being a mother when the kids are all the time. But I mean, when the kids are really little, it's just so wonderful. Look at me, I'm in here. Um, uh, it's so wonderful to be a mother of little children. Um, I love it. You know, you get excited about everything. Who wants to watch a movie tonight, you know? And they get excited and you make a special something to... We used to always have M&M parties here with Mr. Fry. And, um, yeah. So, I do spend a lot of time alone. Uh, compared to before, you know, of course, the kids grow and they have their lives and that's how it should be. Uh, all right. So you can put a radio outside. I highly recommend that. I got that idea from my father-in-law. He used to always listen to like the old, uh, like 1940 songs um, in his yard. And if you have a little rug that you don't want anymore, I highly suggest using it to... You know, if you have to sit down anywhere, pull weeds, whatever you're doing. Let me fill up this wheelbarrow with plants. I'm going to first put the fence up. Oh yeah, so I was trying to say that Richie, my friend from Alabama, who I call Farmer Smith because his garden is gigantic and he knows exactly what he's doing. He said to dig a hole, put cow manure inside and like like a, like around the walls of it cover it up more with dirt because it should never touch the roots because it's fertilizer and it would burn the roots i guess so and then put dirt inside the roots will find its way there on its own and um so if the, if the roots can't touch it is it good that the roots find it i think by then maybe with the rain and everything it'll kind of dissolve into the ground I'm guessing I I don't know but we're gonna make this look better I'm gonna put all my vine kind of plants over here so that way it can go against the fence I mean I guess I can do that anywhere around here but this is higher in case it needs that space and over here I know I have broken pickets because my son my son likes to play the basketball and the ball usually breaks something over here so what I'm gonna do is I have um strawberries and so, you know, I should put the strawberries in here. Yeah, because then the rabbits will eat it. The uh, blueberries are going to go over here. I have tried many, many times throughout the whole 16 years I've lived here to grow them over there. Raspberries, blueberries, it just doesn't ever take. But we're, gonna, we're not going to give up, okay? The fries don't quit. All right, let me get this fence in. All right, for the oregano. It's not the greatest job, but it just defines the space. I'll probably fix the middle one. That's my oregano. Oh, okay. So now I tried putting them over here. It just didn't look right. It, it's just not right. I have to think of something else over there. But I like that. Can you guys see that? I actually curved it. It was really cool. Oh, all right, onward. So the only voice I wanna hear today are the birds, the animals, of course my son, and all of heaven that would like to speak with me. Okay, so over here where my sitting area is, I have this here, my friend that was given to me by the Blessed Mother, yes. She put this all here, so I'm gonna, maybe just one, two, three, maybe four of those little gate thingy-majiggies, see? Okay, I guess I only needed three. Boy, if you have like rocks underneath the soil, forget it however oh it takes so much strength but um yeah you can you can get them at the dollar tree and you have to be very delicate i i had broken one of the little 
fun twirly things in the backyard. So when you put it in, be very careful because anything can snap. But if you have nice soft dirt, like sometimes I came across, I can't get it all the way down on the ground in some of them because I think there is a rock. Like see here, like that went down further. Not so much here, but I love it. You see? All right, time for a small break. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, maybe I could tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing for school. So, I love, all right, so we all know that we all have to, you know, answer to the government about how we're raising our children for maybe they they say it's because they don't want you know families to abuse children and whatnot and this that and the other thing make sure that they're not on welfare they educated okay fine but i say it's to control you okay because if you learn about the reason why um public school started to begin with it is to control the masses so, uh, I had to indoctrinate them. And if you look up John Holt, I wish I could remember the other gentleman. I'll have to research. I did this morning, I couldn't find him. They're both passed away now. Uh, but if you go on to, there's an unschooling YouTube channel. I haven't seen anything, maybe a year ago, but it's usually from like five to seven years ago. They don't post much anymore at all like at all so I saw like I said one year ago she posted the mother um they are from the area like more near Conway New Hampshire but they're an uns radical unschooling so like she has all her babies at home they don't tell their kids what to do they don't discipline them they're all equal there's no hierarchy and all that stuff but I'm not like that um I love having hierarchy over me it's wonderful so because God is our hierarchy so um and I like being told what to do. So the thing is, um, it's too much stress doing everything myself. Just tell me what to do, okay? I'll do it. So with unschooling, I love unschooling uh, because when I was watching her oldest, his name is Devin, he would take like hardly anything and make something of it. And now he's a blacksmith and he's making swords and amazing. And you know, he knows how to color his own yarn and spin it like the old days. and. He builds all kinds of forts. That's when he was younger on the video. I think he's still selling them. I think I found him on Facebook or something. I don't know, a while ago. But anyway, I was so impressed. You know, he's like, Mama, why Why does my friend hate history? Like, I don't understand that. Like, I love history. And she says, well, it's because of the way he's being taught it. Um, so I love the fact that, and I noticed this during homeschooling, that when you give your children time a lot of time and that was one of the things the public school said it was like they want to take away all that time so that your children can't you know find out what their talents are right they said well um i have to keep switching arms Ugh, i need a cameraman all right so uh a free one a um uh, i don't even know what i'm saying i am just <sighs> really tired right now. Okay, we have a lot to do today. This garden is going in no matter what. Um, wow, I don't know what I'm talking. I'm sorry. My brain is like oatmeal at the moment. Uh, so anyway, oh yeah, so they said they didn't want to create poets, musicians, scientists, but although some will escape. All right, so their, their goal is, is to squash, dumb down. This is what the people who were like, like realizing being part of it, what they were saying, and then were whistleblowers, if you will. So, yeah, so I noticed during homeschooling, you know, I let my kids have so much time and, um, and they became masters at whatever it is that they love to do. So, you know, a kid doesn't, like I was saying earlier, a kid doesn't, I don't know if I was saying it to you or someone else, they don't learn to master something as an adult. Why wait till then? They can do it now. Like my son is a great salesman because he was doing it since he was seven years old, going door to door. He'd go to the Dollar Tree, get something for a buck and he would sell it for five. Go door to door like that. And he did it till he was 13. And now he does, you know, shoveling in the winter, uh, the fall, he can do the leaves. Um, 
in the spring get the ground prepared and in the summer he does all kinds of yard work for people and what's really cool is that the, the customers are teaching him what to do it's awesome um, like if he doesn't know how to do something they will show him and then he knows how to do it so if he ever did want to start his own landscaping business just to say he could do that and he also what's really good it's good and it's bad because like if they want to go get a job say at the grocery store you know when they're like 14 they realize that wow like for an hour i could have made 50 bucks you know because or even more um even 90. uh when he was little he would sometimes bring home anywhere from like 60 to to 95 dollars in like say two hours uh, so when they go and they say, oh, I'm going to make minimum wage and it's like, this is such a waste of my time. And they really are motivated to go and do their own thing. All right, let me go. And, um, but John Holt, H-O-L-T is somebody you could research about unschooling just so you get the idea of even if you do a curriculum like I'm going to, um, but it's very easy, breezy light and then it, it really is. And I want the rest of the day, I want them to maybe spend an hour or however much on it and then that's it i want the rest of the day to do whatever they want and i'll be there and i'll help them i'll drive them wherever they gotta go i'll pay for whatever it is they want to do i will help them i will i will help them okay all right this is our blueberry plant i just hope i'm gonna put the cow manure in there and i also have this thing here oh as i trip over everything Okay. <sighs> Bugs. Okay. So I'm going to put this in there too, all throughout the garden. So there's all my stuff and it's going to go in there. All right. I put the symphony music on. I've been out here a long time. I cleared all this out and I put the fence. See the fence? I put it all around here because I didn't have anything there. Now, I think that they sell, Richie from my, my friend Richie from Alabama was telling me, they have a cover you can put over this whole thing because not only do I want to keep it away from rabbits, but um, the butterflies, they leave their little babies and, and they just are all over your stuff and then they poop and pee and it's just disgusting. And so I don't know, I might just, I have screen. I might, might do something on top where I have to keep on rolling it back and forth when I want to get in there, but it's well worth it. And I cleared it all out. All of this is oregano. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna start my planting. The sun is here, so I'm gonna put the tall stuff here and, and the smaller things down that way. Okay, Lisa, onward. And I got the symphony music to motivate me because my father raised me on symphony. And you can go anywhere you want. You really can, it's wonderful, in your imagination. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna get this done before I have to go. I, I forgot, I had to babysit for my sister. So I thought I was gonna get it all done today, but what I did was I laid it all out. Maybe it's too close together, I don't know. You know, am I a pro at this? No, but I'm gonna dig a few and uh, see what I can do. And I put the blueberry bush thingamajiggy over there. I'm keeping the strawberries in here. But anyway, so, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, not bad, right? I'm buying groceries at the store, look. See, I got a rose bush over here that's plant being planted and two other I gotta fix that up. I get my little fairy house thing going. And you know what else? I love clovers. I know they're a weed, but a lot of things are weed. Even daisies are weeds. Did you know that? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm buying groceries in the store and I'm saying, why am I buying for like, cause I cut, you know, lettuce from the pots and I give it to my bunny. And I'm saying, why am I buying all this other stuff from people. Why, when I can grow it myself? I haven't bought celery, it's over there. All right, let me keep going. I love clovers because they just are so, I don't know, they remind me of like leprechauns and I, I'm not thinking that 
you know, leprechauns are real. I just, I don't know. I like them. Actually, I should put this over by my fairy houses that I have. Yeah, and look, oregano grew in one of my pots. How's that? It smells like a pizza. So I don't even know what that is. And it's growing over here too. I got a lot of peppermint over here. And once in a while I walk by and just eat one. It tastes like a stick of gum. And I'm going to put my rosemary in there. My basil grows the best here. Okay, so I dug a hole. Now I'm going to put some compost in the hole lightly. Um, thinly, I should say, around all of it. Oh, the symphony is so annoying. It's giving me anxiety. And I'm like, why do I feel this way? Ugh, I wonder why. Okay, so I put it all against like the walls, if you will. I see the roots there. They're probably to these guys. All right. And then I'm going to put a little bit more dirt in there. Right, so that the plant is not completely get let that little guy get out of there before I put any more dirt inside and then we're good to go okay and then I put a little wall around it so when it rains it'll I don't know if you guys can see that okay so when it rains it'll stay in there and won't drain out then I'm gonna put that fertilizer that you saw at the very end, like maybe even tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna go do this whole thing. <laughs> no, it's good. Oh, how cute. My son is going on his driver's lesson. There he goes. He's going in his little driving lesson. I mean, obviously he knows how to drive. He's been driving my van for many months, many, many. All right, so he's gonna really have to learn to go slow because he has a heavy foot. Oh, Lord, let him have enough brain cells and care to drive safely when he's by himself. Now, this is definitely gonna take a couple of days for me. I don't have time. I only have a half an hour left. Uh, I hate that. My life is so busy and I know that most people's lives are but if it is busy that's why people don't grow gardens because you have to attend to it like richie says you have to treat it like a child you always have to attend to it and it's not always the case and easy for me i can water plants so maybe once it's in you know we'll be good to go with that i was just standing here waiting for my son to take off and look at the flowers they are he they're all in the same direction as where the sun is. Isn't that smart? There he goes. Bye. My son, my son. Ugh. I only planted not that many. All right, so I didn't even plant that much. I just saw all the dirt on my neck. Look at Hara. What's all this? Is it dirt or red? I don't even know. So I barely touched all of it. I, I planted a number of things, but I still got a ways to go. I thought I had all day and I don't. <laughs> all right, so my son is off with his driving lessons there. Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna leave everything out here so I can just come out periodically. You know, you just gotta, you know, I don't have one of those things that goes around the tomato plant, so I use a thing in the pot. And uh, so all of this is planted over here, at least up to here. That's good. All right, you guys are going to have to wait till later, but I will see you tonight when I water you, okay? All right, good job. Good job, Lisa. I was going to encourage you all, because not only are you unschooling your children or homeschooling your children, you are also doing that for yourself. Does that make sense? You are doing that for yourself. So here I am, I'm a woman and I was not raised at all or taught how to do anything mechanical and anything. So what I encourage you to do uh, is take your time and investigate. You know, look at it. You don't have to, you don't have to rip it apart. Just, just look at it, examine it. You know, then go on YouTube, ask questions to friends, um, preferably guy friends, 
They usually know all of it. So they examine and try to figure things out. So why can't we? It takes me sometimes weeks before I approach a situation where I have never approached it before. So I would encourage you all to do the same thing. And don't worry, 